Hey gang. <laughs> I was gonna try to do a video for you uh, and then I was uh, gonna do it in selfie mode and then I was gonna flip it around so I could show you stuff. I can't do that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something different today. I am going to um, just run along my entire CD collection and uh, gonna show you all the spines. And then anybody who watches the video, if you like what you're seeing, you can just request, um, if you wanna know more about something or see it more fleshed out more, or whatever, you know. If you want me to get into uh, the collection and pull them out and show them to you. All right, so here, let me just show you what I have. Turn the light on because it is starting to get a little darker. Let's see if I can do this without getting zapped. All right, see all these box sets up here? Most of those are CDs. Some of them are LPs. Most of them are CDs. These are all CDs here. There's five shelves of them, for God's sake. What the hell was I spending all my money on? These are all CDs, all here, wraps around, it goes to here. Oh yeah, there's some stuff up there too. All right, but these are all CDs. That whole shelf right there is all CDs. Oh, it goes down there actually. Then uh, down here you got mostly seven inch uh, records all here and that last third I just actually just started putting stuff down there because I got a few more things and then there's this group of shelves here that's oops, that's all CDs going all the way down to that row right there all CDs and then these are CDs too. I know, it's a disease, it's a sickness. Some, some box sets, there's some DVDs that I burned down here. Um, I'm not gonna show you that stuff, at least not right now, but anyway. Uh, and then there's, uh, there's more box sets here. I'm just gonna go right around and start showing you what I have, all right? So right here, you can see Aerosmith. What's the very first one? Ah, Advent. My friends, uh, Alan and uh, Amy Benjamin. Alan Benjamin is a brilliant guitarist and he's been working with um, some guys uh, in New Jersey where they uh, have been pumping out, every once in a while they'll pump out another CD's worth of material. Uh, under the name Advent. It's a uh, very progressive, gentle giant oriented sounding kind of stuff. And these guys are fantastic, Mark and uh, Henry Patak. And uh, they have, uh, oh man, I can't remember the drummer's name. He's a great drummer though. And uh, they have a rotating bass player, although I think that they finally have a multi-instrumentalist to play bass and other things. For them now but anyway that's advent that's what starts off my collection and you see some aerosmith alice and chains allman brothers ah the amazing which is a band out of what are they sweden i think it's sweden All right, America's Greatest Hits. That's like something I've had for years and years. Some uh, Tori Amos. Now you get to John Anderson, I'm a big Yes fan. Oh, a ton of John Anderson stuff. If you could see, maybe I'm too close. Maybe this is a little bit easier to see it all. Maybe the... Um, 
Maybe that light is too much of a glare. Hold on, I'm gonna try. Hold on. Just wait a minute, people. Turn that off. Maybe you can turn it on low. Maybe that's better. Is that easier to see? I can't even freaking tell. You know what? I have some of them wrapped in um, these little cellophane uh, protectors. So maybe that's part of the problem here. All right. Now maybe you can see what the heck I'm trying to show you. Anderson, here's a antihistamine Antihistamine daydream is a CD I got from some guy who was living near a neighbor of mine, or a friend of mine. He was his neighbor. Argent, Louis Armstrong, Atomic Rooster, Box, Larry, uh, uh, Larry Graves has that same box set right there. I remember seeing that. Here's Bachman Turner Overdrive. Uh, Badfinger. Here's Tony Banks. Uh, Peter Banks. You can see his album right there. Uh, Beach Boys. Got a bunch of their stuff. Now here's some Beatles stuff. Now it's funny because you're not gonna see. Oh, here. You're not gonna see all my Beatles stuff here because I got that one big stereo box set. But stuff that's not included in there, like these compilations and the uh, Anthology series, those are all up here, including the singles, the CD singles that they came out, uh, that they put out, because those CD singles had B-sides that weren't on, uh, that weren't in the, in the set. And then here's, uh, one of Beatles, Beatles, Let It Be, the, uh, Yellow Submarine Songbook. Here's Love. It's got the DVD in it, the surround sound DVD. Here's Beatles, uh, two bo Beatles box sets, uh, singles. That's the singles box and CD singles and uh, CD EPs collection. And then here are the two US albums collections. All right. And there's some uh, compilations that I burned to CD, some, maybe some rare tracks that didn't come out any other way or they're not in the anthology series. All right, here's some more stuff. Some stuff I haven't even unsealed it yet. Here's uh, Beck, Mellow, Loser, Odelay, singles from the Odelay. Here's Jeff Beck, one of my heroes. I love Jeff Beck. What a freaking brilliant player. Walter Becker, uh, Bee Gees. I have more Bee Gees stuff than I care to even know about, quite frankly. Um... I like the earlier stuff, but uh, some of the later stuff is actually pretty funky. It's not so disco. It's actually listenable. Here's uh, Shake Your Money Maker, the uh, Black Crows. Uh, Blood and Pig. Blondie. Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Uh, Blue. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Wait a minute, what is that? Blue Waste of Cult, yeah, good stuff. Ah, and here's the beginning of my Bowie collection. I already showed this off. There's actually a video on my YouTube channel showing off all this Bowie stuff that I got. Uh, let's go, focus on that. Never let me down. Here's that Bowie box, that's real cool. And last thing I got was this cool compilation right here. Oh, that's the box. This one 
right here. This was something I didn't show off because I didn't have it at the time, but uh, I got this Bowie, nothing has changed. This is a Japanese pressing of the last compilation. I don't think I showed, I don't think I had this then. And uh, this had some of the uh, tracks from Toys. That unreleased album that's still unreleased. I don't know what the hell they're waiting for. Put the goddamn Toys album out. For God's sake, what are you waiting for, you guys? Always not going to give you the A-OK -okay to put it out, so somebody else do it. All right, and then there's... There's the uh, BBC stuff. And there's this, this, this. Oh, Gary Boyle, another fusion guy. Here is <laughs> the brand new heavies. I have just about everything by these guys because a friend of mine, Maria, got me into the brand new heavies. They're a funky, funky guys from the 80s. They're still around. And I have, I think I have every, every single album as a Japanese pressing on CD. Um, I got 15 of their albums, including the very last one, which was this one right here. And even, yeah, this one's even pretty good. And I think that Jan, the, the original drummer, I think he's gone. I don't think he's with them anymore. And he was really good. He started something else up. But uh, they're still going strong, those guys. Here's the beginning of my Brand X collection. Right here. Can you see it all? Because it's, god damn, it's so out of focus. All right, it goes up to about here. And then uh, Michael Brecker, here's bread. Brecker, yeah, I like bread. You don't like bread? Bread's got some real nice, uh, Tunes from the 70s, man. They're kind of mellow, but they're real nice. Here's Bruford. Bruford's great, man. Feels good to me. One of a kind. Gradually going tornado. These were all remastered. I had the originals, but then I ended up getting these remastered ones. And uh, here's some of my Kate Bush. Here's the birds. Some of these I haven't even unwrapped yet. You can see. But uh, one of them just recently I was listening to while I was working from home. This one right here. This was good. Turn, turn, turn. That was great, man. I was really, I really enjoyed cranking that up. Uh, here's Camel. My CD collection of Camel is very, very small. I actually have more LPs uh, on vinyl than I do CDs. Here is my Captain Beef, Beefheart, oh, candle box, and then Jerry Cantrell right here. That's true. This Jerry Cantrell album, I found it when I was living in in uh, Lodi, New Jersey, with my wife after we got married and we moved to uh, Lodi temporarily. We were there for about three years working out of, I was working out of uh, White Plains. I was commuting from Lodi, New Jersey. And somebody got rid of a whole bunch of CDs. And this was one of them, that Jerry Cantrell CD. All right, so, he, all right, here's all my Captain Beefheart on CD. And I think I have every one of them on CD. Starts off with this, it's like an EP. Oh, these stupid plastic sleeves. I probably, yeah, the legendary A&M sessions. So, come on, come on, Doc. Focus. Oh, you son of a bitch. It won't focus. Oh, there it is. Diddy wad diddy. Yeah, it's only like five tracks. Diddy wah diddy. 
What do you think? You're fooling, Moonchild, frying pan, and here I am. I always am. <laughs> fucking Don Van Vliet is a trip, man. Uh, I love that guy. Okay. All right, so anyway, here's, here's all my Captain Beefheart, and then Caravan starts around here somewhere. There it is. Caravan. There's the first album. Right there. And it goes on right there, down here. Caravan. That's a threesome. That's a compilation that I put together. And then uh, I run out of Caravan. There's Larry Carlton. There's Carpenters. The Cars. good stuff these guys oh and all of these are Rick Ocasek and Ben Orr his solo albums in here too um, I burned that stuff to, to CD I pulled it off of uh, YouTube and found mo just about everything on YouTube and I burned it all to CDR this Rick's Rick solo stuff And here's CTA. Two is the skinny one. Here's This is all Chicago here. And I got these. I just picked these up pretty recently, actually, like within the past couple of years. Here's some live stuff. This is a live one. Oh, here's four. That's live. This is live. And here's another one here that's live, this one. And then there's the greatest hits. Then there's a Christmas one that just came out this past year, this past season. That's actually not that bad. I was surprised. All right, here's a bunch of Christmas crap. And this is one that I burned. This one here. This is a compilation of Christmas songs that I burned. It's got a bunch of stuff that's like stuff from like Jethro Tull's in here, Beatles, Christmas Time is Here Again from a Bootleg. I got Carol of the Bells, got Welton John's Ho Ho Ho, and John Lennon's Happy Christmas, and Greg Lake, all kinds of stuff. All right, so that's Christmas. Eric Clapton, got some Clapton in there. Stanley Clark, freaking genius. Here's The Clash. Uh, oh, this is Billy Cobham box set. And then I still have another one that wasn't in that box, but that box set's real nice. And this is the hell is that Japanese one? I don't know what that is. Right, and then Phil Collins starts here. Being a completist, I just kept on collecting and collecting all his stuff. Except that I, when I got, to, I got to testify, I didn't even bother getting it. Um, Coloratura. This is some friends of mine that I met on Facebook through actually through some other friends of mine that I actually met and that's a pretty good album that Coloratura and there's another one Coloratura those guys are good Ian oh god I can't remember Ian's last name sorry Ian here's John Coltrane Alice Cooper Larry Coriel Elvis Costello Counting Crows is something I never hear anymore. Cracker. I liked Cracker for a while. That's the Randy Crawford. Randy Crawford worked with uh, Steve Hackett. That's probably why I ended up with that CD right there. And then oh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And then Sheryl Crow. For a, a while, I was really keen on Sheryl Crow. I know everybody who loves... 
Kevin Gilbert hates Sheryl Crow. Me, I'm one of those nudniks who likes both, so I got all of this crap. And I still like Sheryl Crow. I don't give a shit if people don't like her. I like her. I think she's really pretty t damn talented. Um, and then there's some... Uh, there's some... Uh, soundtracks with Cheryl Crow tracks on them and that's why I have them there and then Dave Davies the best of Miles Davis oh oh <laughs> well that starts off quite a landslide of material here because here's Miles here's my Miles collection oh you know what I need to do put this on there now you can see what the hell's going on Miles Davis, Seven Steps to Heaven, Sketches of Spain, Kinda Blue, that's a special release. I bought that, I must have bought that like three times now. Circling Around, ESP, Miles and Coltrane, Jack Johnson in a Silent Way on the corner, the, the early 70s and mid 70s stuff, man, that shit's great. Bitches Brew, uh, Pangea, Garda, uh, Tutu, and Amandla. This is the 80s stuff. And then Doobop. You get to Doobop. The one that was compiled right after he passed away. Then you get to the Plug Nickel. And all the box sets. That's my Miles collection right there. And this is, uh, oftentimes, this is what I go to, these box sets. But uh, there's a lot of good stuff there. All right, and then here's the DBs. I like these guys, they're good. Deep Purple, Machine Head, my favorite Deep Purple album. And pro I guess it's my only Deep Purple album. That's what I have. Al Miola, Dire Straits, Dixie Dregs, Doors, Nick Drake box set. Nick Drake, what a genius that guy is. Uh, ah, and one of my heroes, this guy, this guy. How could you not like George Duke? He's the nicest guy. He's the coolest guy. He's the most talented. He's brilliant. Zappa was so smart to get him in the lineup. And George Duke absorbed all the cool shit from Zappa and put out these solo albums. And that box set there that I just showed you is four CDs, but it's like six or seven albums worth of material. And it's fucking great. And then there's George Duke from me to you and reach for it. And that's a pretty good couple of albums right there too. All right. So then you got the Eagles. Okay. The best of earth, wind and fire. ELO, box set with uh, just everything good by those guys. Lunatics and Lunatics Review. That's something that I picked up. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Electric Moon. Uh, Duke Gallington and his orchestra. Sir Duke. You got ELP here. I got all the good stuff. The Empty Hearts. I like these guys. My sister, Mary Beth, turned me on to the Empty Hearts. It's a great power pop band with... Uh... Here, I'm going to show you. There's the Empty Hearts. This is a special pressing that has uh, some extra bonus tracks on it. Um, but these guys are really good. It's got Elliot Easton and a whole slew of other guys that are really, really good. Um, and then you get to uh, Brian Eno. Eno, that box. John Entwistle. All his material. Uh, Donald Fagan 
and his stuff. Filter, Fish, uh, Fleetwood Mac. I have pretty much Fleetwood Mac's entire collection on CD. Pretty much every album's on CD. And uh, here I have the Flower Kings. Starting with the very first one, the Flower, Roy, Royn Stolt, the Flower King. And then every single one since then. Except I haven't gotten, did I get the last one, the very latest? No, I haven't gotten this latest yet. Damn, they just put one out and I have, uh, I'm dropping the ball here. Here's Focus. Oh, and then there's uh, some other uh, stuff related to the Flower Kings. Uh, here's Focus, Foo Fighters, a ridiculously complete Foo Fighters collection. I like all things Foo, although I was started to get uh, tired of, uh, I started to think that David Grohl was turning into a parody of himself, but I still like the guy. He's a great fucking musician. Nifty Puppets. <laughs> That's my cousin Rick. Nifty Puppets, man. Cousin Rick. That would be Ricky Sires. He's a genius. Peter Frampton. Frippinino. Fudge. Ah, now you're getting a Gabriel. Here's G. Gabriel, 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 Gabriel. And then Genesis. Here's Genesis. All kinds of stuff in here. All right. Here's the two box sets. And then here's the two more box sets. And that's where pretty much it ends. And then you get to Gentle Giant. Here's Kevin Gilbert. Starts with NRG. Something he put out a long time ago when he was in high school, I think. He still was, grew up in Fanwood. Or Scotch Plains, Kevin Gilbert. Scotch Plains, New Jersey, where my buddy Brian Tracy grew up. Brian could have been past him in the hallway. Didn't even know it, I bet. Here's Giraffe. It's all Kevin Gilbert stuff. Toy Matinee, it's all Kevin Gilbert. Get the caviar, which is really bizarre. And, oh, the shaming of the true. I miss Kevin Gilbert. He was a freaking genius and he was so good. David Gilmour, Jim Blossoms, uh, Philip Glass, Godly Cream from 10CC. Here's Gong. I have more Gong stuff burned to CDR, but I'm collecting more of it on uh, LP now. So I'm getting that and vinyl. Uh, Danny Gottlieb, drummer from uh, Pat Metheny Group, early, uh, early on, whom I got a chance to meet back in 79 at a Metheny show. And I got to meet Pat Metheny there too, man. All right, grateful, some Grateful Dead. And David Gray. Now, David Gray, I have this guy's catalog it's complete it's just ridiculous i have everything by david gray and I, I really like david gray as depressing as he seems to be i think he's really really good here's some more stuff up oh, now we're getting to steve hackett all remastered his first six remastered First six albums remastered, and then there's all kinds of other stuff in here. Steve Hackett. I don't think I showed, did I do, I think I did CDs. Did I show off my CD collection of Steve Hackett? I can't remember now. Um, anyway, got all that. Uh, this one's a special one. This is Daryl Hall, his first solo album. That was produced by Robert Fripp, and it's a masterpiece. If you don't have it, you're crazy. 
got Herbie Hancock, and I started to collect a lot of his stuff. Oh, here's one. Peter Hamill. I don't have a lot of Peter Hamill. Why not? I should. Here's George Harrison box that I picked up back in uh, 2005. Some heart. Yeah, see? A couple of Hendrix albums. Uh, Roger Hodgson. Super Tramp. Ah, Alan Holdsworth. The man who changed guitar forever. Well, that's absolutely true. Holdsworth is a maniac. Hole. Being a big uh, grunge fan, being a big fan of Nirvana, I picked up Hole's crap too. Steve Howe, If, that's a good band. Isotope, Jackson 5. What is this stuff in my way here? Joe Jackson. Jane's Addiction. I have a pretty complete collection of their stuff. Ah, Jerky Boys. I like every once in a while. I need a good laugh. Those guys do it. Here's Jesus Christ Superstar, a box set that came out. Jesus Christ Superstar, something I like to listen to at least once a year. And then Jethro Tull. Here's my Tall collection. It goes on and on and on forever. Jethro Tull goes right up to here, which is... Thick as a brick, too. And then Elton John. Why is that sticking out? I probably had that pulled out for some dumb reason. Here's Elton John's pretty pretty complete collection up to Caribou. Rock of the Westies and Caribou. I mean, if you got Yellow Brick Road and you got a Greatest Hits, you got just about 80% of what you need by this guy, but... Um, Elton John's a genius. Howard Jones, I really like him from the uh, 80s. John Paul Jones, some solo material. Percy Jones from Brand X. Paranoids is a Percy Jones uh, item. There's a few more. Sarah Pillow. That involves uh, Percy Jones as well. And Progre Progressivity, another Percy Jones. Uh, Stanley Jordan. It's a guy I got into back when uh, I was still like in my 20s. Ah, Paul Kelly <laughs> and the Dots. Paul Kelly. This guy's from Australia and he's really good. Paul Kelly's a freaking maniac. Very talented writer. And I have a ridiculously complete collection of Paul Kelly material, including his very first two Dot albums on LP. So these originally, uh, they're Australian or New Zealand uh, pressings too. I don't think they were ever pressed here in America. All right, so what else do I have? Carol King, McDonald and Giles, or is it Giles? I don't know, Giles, Giles and Fripp. You'd think it would be Giles, but maybe it's Giles, I don't know. And then I have that right in front of all my uh, King Crimson stuff. And uh, there you see King Crimson. There's some of the uh, other cool stuff by Crimson. Here's King Missile. These guys are fucking funny. Here's my Kinks collection. Holy shit. The Kinks collection, which is just every single remastered CD that they released and it goes right up to here so pretty full collection of stuff except now you can't see it it's out of focus there it is yep that's the kinks right there all right so and then you get to Rasan Rollin Kirk Kirk focus you fuck Clark Kent 
this, where is that? Here it is. This Clark Kent CD goes collectibles, now goes for like at least a hundred bucks. You ain't gonna get it for any cheaper than that, I don't think. I paid, I think I paid 20 bucks for it. 15, 20 bucks for it when it first came out. Uh, John Clemmer, Lake. Last Tribe, a band I got into when I was living in uh, Vir Richmond, Virginia. I met these guys. Substance, isn't it? What is it? Substance and Soul. I met these guys. They signed my booklet. Last Tribe, and then he, he also gave me a whole cassette tape full of demos that was had like some really great material on it, all right? Then uh, Led Zeppelin. Zeppelin, Zeppelin, more Zeppelin. Oh. Uh, John Lennon. Okay, yeah, you can see that. Little Feats in there. Loaded Poets, the band I've worked with. They put this great album out just recently. This is a masterpiece. It's the best thing they ever did. I love this fucking album, and I'm not on it. God damn it. But it's a great record, man. You should get it. Loaded Poets. Uh, oh, what else do we have here? Lost Tribe. As opposed to Last Tribe. Lush. From the, seven, from the 80s, I mean. Good. Or from the 90s, I'm sorry. Armchair Theater, what the hell is that? Jeff Lynn. Uh, what else? John McLaughlin. Ah, there's a John McLaughlin box. This is all stuff, all this stuff that it's not labeled is stuff that, uh, like a lot of my original material. Since my last name begins with M, I just stuck it here. M-A. Mamas and the Papas, Manfred Mann, Marillion. There's my Marillion collection, which I happen to like a lot. And then it just, it just ends with the two uh, singles box sets that are nice. Martin, John Martin, another freaking genius. I have his box set actually up here. John Martin. That box set has like 20 something CDs in it. <laughs> I think it's 20 something CDs. Uh, here's my McCartney collection on CD. Okay. Pat Metheny. Joni Mitchell box set right there. Oh, Missing Persons next to her. Oh, Mingus. Got Mingus in there too. Two box sets by Joni Mitchell. I got that, the Geffen box too, which is nice. A couple of special releases there. Uh, Moody Blues, I picked up uh, their remastered, uh, their first seven albums remastered not too long ago actually. And then there's the This Is The Moody Blues. That's a double LP set on two CDs and one of the best compilations ever, ever made. Uh, Mud Honey. Oh, Patrick Moore has too. Mud Honey. Oh, The Muffins. The Muffins. <laughs> Dave Newhouse, The Muffins, look at this, and this, on CD, original CDs, original Muffin CDs. I love this guy, he's the nicest guy in the world, and he's really great, Dave Newhouse. And I have the, he's, he's, he's one of the main guys in The Muffins, one of the main writers, and uh, is absolutely brilliant, and one of the nicest people on the planet. And when you get up here, this is all Muffins-related stuff. 
Here's the rats. Look at this. Everybody signed this for me, including the engineer. And uh, this is great stuff. Uh, muffins, the rats. That's got uh, the rats. What's wrong with me? I'm a retard. The rats. It's got uh, Brett Harold Hart, and it's got Carla Durant singing, and uh, a couple of drummers, George, that's uh, Dave's son, George Newhouse, and what's his name, the other drummer, I always forget his name, and he's like fantastic, Sean Rickman, what a freaking brilliant uh, musician, all right, and there's a ton of stuff in here, including Moon Men, Clouds Over Jupiter, that's Jerry King. He's part of the Moon Men group, along with Dave Newhouse and uh, Brett Harold Hart. And, uh, oh, here's Brett's uh, first CD collection of stuff that he did. That's pretty good, too. I mean, the guy's really talented. Jerry King, and then who's the drummer? I oh, Bill's, Bill, uh, Bill Zilla, <laughs> but it's William... And I can't remember his last name. Sorry, Bill. I can't remember the last name. So anyway, that's that's the Dave Newhouse collection uh, and friends. And I love it. Now you get to Not A Surf. Not A Surf is a really great trio of guys that have put out some really great material since the mid-90s. They're really good. And I have it all. I have all of it. And then I compiled a rarity disc. So here's Nirvana. Three different versions of Bleach. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Three different ones. What am I freaking... Oh, no. Two different ones. Uh, only two, so it's okay. Here's a Nevermind in, in Utero box set of singles. There's six singles in there. Unplugged, Roots of Nirvana. This came with a magazine. I think it came with Mojo, yeah. And then there's a booklet. And anyway, uh, there's that. And there's uh, No Man, a couple of CDs by No Man, which is related to... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Porcupine Tree. Steve Wilson stuff. Here's Tubular Bells. What else? Jimmy Page. Uh, what else? Passport. Jaco Pastorius. Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. I got a like the first three four albums and I just never never listened to them nothing against them that's why I got the three albums but and then I got pen, the pentangle this I got from this is actually a multi-channel disc DVD the entire album and 5.1 surround sound pentangle and then I got this box set the albums it's like everything right all right tom petty i really like tom petty here's uh anthony phillips i was almost gonna do a a, D, a video on a, my anthony phillips cd collection but here it is the spines <laughs> this is the special See the video for Anthony Phillips, The Spines. All right, here's Pink Floyd. Starts right there. Right there, you can see the first three singles. And then it just keeps going until you get to this bad boy right here. Pixies. John Pizzarelli. And that's actually a good album. Oh, uh, Robert Plant. 
My Robert Plant collection is actually pretty complete. Pretty complete. And then a bunch of rare. There's some rarities that he's hard to find. Some stuff by a plant that he put out that's not easy to find. And it's not even on it. He put out some his own rarities package and it's not even on some of that stuff's not even on there so what else do we have here we're in the piece ah Jean-Luc Ponty great collection of stuff by Jean-Luc Ponty I love that guy here's your porcupine tree that's a very very full collection of stuff here's Pointer for Pyros if you like Jane's Addiction you're gonna like Pointer for Pyros because it's got uh, what's his name in it Pretenders, my Pretenders CD collection. It's also very, very ridiculously complete, obsessively complete. Uh, oh. Primitive Soul, my friend Dave Hartkern drums on this, and he gave me this. Thank you, Dave. Dave's a great guy. Mercury, ah, oh, here we go. Nick Prohl and the Proletarians. This is a masterpiece. If you don't have it, get it. If you don't get it, you're nuts. You're a lunatic. This is lunatic. <laughs> you should get this album. It's great. It's one of, one of the best albums, and I intend to get this pressed on uh, a two, two LP set. I intend to finance that. Uh, they also put uh, this scary frickin' CD out called, uh, Mer oh, this is Mercury Tree Spider, what the hell is it? What is it called? Spider Milk. <laughs> and it is really bizarre because it deals with tunings just just a little bit like uh i can't remember i can't remember the term but uh spider milk that's another in, insane group of guys that involves um i don't think i don't know if nick prohl is actually on that but uh his, his buddies are on it uh queen got their first four or five albums uh queen's reich a box set oh Queen of Queens of the Stone Age. I got this. Fucking pisses me off because it's out of tune, out of focus. Queens of the Stone Age, and then uh, Queens Reich, and then Radiohead. Here's everything by Radiohead that you can't see because it's out of focus. You suck. Rare Blend is something that. Oh well, look at here, Ramones. Rare Blend. The records, I like those guys. Another power pop band. And then of course, R.E.M. Oh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, before I go zipping by. And then R.E.M., R.E.M., R.E.M. I stuck with R.E.M. for uh, forever, man. Okay. Renaissance, another great band. Uh, Return of Forever. And then the Rolling Stones. And the Rolling Stones is very much a complete collection. And then we get to Rundgren, but we start off with the Nas, because that's how Rundgren started. And then you get to this stuff here, and it's all this here. It's all Todd. Todd is God right up to these four box sets. All right. And then you get to Big Ronga. She's from New Zealand and she's, not only is she beautiful, but she's a really, really great musician. And she's put out, I think four albums now. I have the first three. I didn't, and I, then I have another, uh, compilation 
try to remember everything which was a real nice compilation. It had some, some rarities on it, but it didn't have all the rarities on it. Um, here's Mike Rutherford. Small Creeps Day starts that collection off. And then you get to Mike and the Mechanics. And I only have got, I got living years and then I stopped collecting his stuff. Here's the Ruddles course if you like the Beatles you're gonna like the Ruddles and then you get Chardet Chardet my Chardet collection is actually pretty elaborate then you get to Kamara Saj I don't know how to say his last name Kamara oh my god this guy is so good he works with Uh, I can't remember. But anyway, um, I have three of his albums, or four of his albums, I think. And man, the guy is phenomenal. Really, really good. And I pull those out and play them. I actually like to pull them out every once in a while and really listen to them. Um, what else do I have here? Uh Arrow Sanders, yeah, good stuff. Santana, Savoy Brown, that was actually really good. Wally Schnally, wow, I haven't listened to that in a while. I have three albums by that guy. He's a drummer, and he's it was amazing. He's really good. Sly and the Family Stone, Box, oh Simon and Garfunkel, I almost passed them by. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins. That's another pretty complete collection. Smashing Pumpkins, then the Smithereens. Snoop Dogg. I have one Snoop Dogg album here. Soft Machine Third. I have soft. I have a lot of Soft Machine material, but it's uh, again it was burned to CDR. But I've been collecting it uh, on vinyl and uh, can show that off. And then here's some of the. Some really good stuff, man, by uh, Soft Machine. What a brilliant stuff. Soundgarden, Soundgarden, special effects. Uh, Spin Doctors, Spock's Beard. It's another good band that uh, I actually haven't listened to in a while. Chris Squire, oh, Squeeze and Squire. And then Steely Dan. Steely Dan collection is actually very, very thorough. Except I don't have the, the last few albums they put out on final. That's one thing I don't have. Or two things I don't have. Sting. I liked Sting for a while because I love the police. All right. Uh, Stone Temple Pilots. The Stranglers, Sun Treader, that's a uh, Brand X related artist. Super Tramp, I love Super Tramp and have uh, pretty much everything by those guys too. Uh, oh, Talking Heads. Talking Heads looks like a really small collection, but the 